This is my morning muse during the week of Lech Lecha, which is one of my favorite portions. Just arranged myself there. Lech Lecha is a doubling. And since I think everything is in Tunis, this doubling is very significant for me. The name of the Pasha is always uh, really significant. It, it has the essence of the Pasha in it. Bereshis has the creation. Noach has uh, Noach in it. And Lech Lecha is the essence of Avraham, of Avram going to Avraham, as expressed in the hay, and the hay is derived in Lech Lecha itself. Let me do the gematria of Lech Lecha, the full gematria. Lech is Lamed, Full spelling is Lamed, is Lamed Mem Dalet, 74, and Kaf, Kaf, final pay, it's 100, that's 174. And that doubled, because it's Lech and Lecha, that doubled becomes 340. Uh, 48, 348 is the gematria of Hamesh, 5, 5 is the secret, hey, 5 is the secret of the portion, Lech Lecha, concept of the letter hey which is found in Lech Lecha itself, spelled out. Now if you take the letters and add them here, there's five letters in each uh, spelling, full spelling of Lech Lecha. Each one has five letters. That's ten letters. That's a Yud, ten letters. Added to 348 is 358. And that becomes the gematria of Mashiach. So in Lech Lecha itself is the concept of 348. Hamesh 5. And Mashiach 358, in counting its letters, is... Mashiach, the other is Hamish, and, and 358 is Mashiach. Again, Avraham as being a forerunner and a symbol for the Mashiach. In simple gematria, Lech, more simple gematria, Lech equals 50, which is the full complement of five. That 50 is doubled into a hundred. That hundred is the hundred blessings every day. That hundred plus, uh, plus one for the all is 101, is the angel Mikhail. It's also the Notarikon, the, the Roshe Tivo of Adam Kadman. It's also the concept of the fifth level of the soul of the Yehida, which is also found in the hay itself. Because what is the that was added to Abraham? Uh, what was the what was the whole point of Lech Lecha? Go to thyself. What is thyself but thy Yehida? There's two aspects in any doubling. In all the times in Torah when when it says Moshe, Moshe, or Noach, Noach, or Abraham, Abraham, 
the the doubling always implies this world and the next world this world and the world to come there's a two-ness that has to become this oneness when the two worlds are combined or at least shown that they're both the same That's what's shown here. The hundred is also a samek encircled by a final mem, which is the marriage ring of the Arizal and the two letters that are held miraculously in the Ten Commandments that are shown five and five, lech and lecha. The whole trick is to find one's essence. Lech, go. Find one's essence. Lecha to yourself, but remember it has to be within the community. The whole secret of the above and below is that everyone knows that we want to find our essence as an individual, but let's bring it back down into the where we go lech-ing in the community which is expressed as Aleph Samach, one in sixty. The concept of Ein Saf, which is also shown in Lech Lecha. If we do the full spelling, it, it, with including finals Lamed 30, uh, final Kaf 500, that doubled, that's 1,060, that's the... Uh, the uh, Roshe Tivo of Aleph Samach being Ein Saf. That Ein Saf, Aleph being a thousand, Samach being sixty, is shown in Lech Lecha. So when one sees this, this, that, that the same 160 is all, 1060 is also implied in the note in the Roshe Tivo of Samach Aleph Sitra Akra and it's also implied in the 358 of Moshiach because another 358 is in the Nahash So not only is the Ein Saf and Moshiach implied in Lech Lecha, but also the Nahash and, and the Sitra Akra implied in Lech Lecha. Because what did Moshe do? And Moshe, what did Abraham do? Going into the Sitra Akra itself. This whole idea of the hay given to Avram, Avram, high father, making him Avraham, the hay included, is this big deal of Lech Lecha, the five. Give me five. And concept of the five itself doubled in this world and the next, in Bina and, and Malchus. The five is the feminine. And where did this all come from, if not from Sarai, who loses her five, gives it to Avraham, who only had of Ram. It was doubling. Feminine is shown here too. One of the reasons I'm especially enthused this year because this is the year of 5,000 
777, and in the Torah commentaries of the Arizal and such, they call it, uh, it's talked about something, and it's Hey Aleph, the Aleph, no, it's Ha Aleph, but it should be Hey Aleph. It's a 5,000. This hay is talked about as being important for this year. I'll get into that at another time. But this is another year of the coming of Mashiach, which is expressed in Lech Lecha, which is expressed through the letter hay. I have some other things to say. I, I was doing a, a previous, mo- uh, not previous, I was doing today's morning news and I was cut off after 10 minutes. So I don't remember exactly what I said in this one because I, I, I get angry when I get cut off by a computer. A malfunction. So I don't know what I said. So this really became a morning muse. Because it's only a speech of what went on last night. The whole idea of finding yourself is the idea of Lech Lecha. Abraham found himself expressed through the bris of the letter hey. Quite frankly, the letter hey turns the word hamesh, the letters of hamesh, if we break the left leg of the het, we get the letter hey. And so it turns the letters of a het um, memshin into a, a hey memshin, which is Hashem. Also, the letters of Moshe. The big secret of the bris is turning the letter het on the eighth day, the eighth letter, the eight, into the five. Eight always symbolizes the miraculous and the infinite, and five always. Uh, uh, it symbolizes the physical. This breaking of the letter, of the left leg, uh, of the letter het, into the, as you, we know, the broken left side of the uh, letter phi, uh, uh, it's, a, it's, it's a circumcised left side in, into the letter hey. Bringing the infinite into the physical, infinite into finite. That's what we have here in the letter hey from the letter het. This is the big secret of Lech Lecha. The utilization of the letter hey from the infinite levels that preceded. One might even say that's the same thing about marriage in general and about the Priya of Arivia bringing the infinite down into the physical. Again, all done by the letter He. And this is the week, the Pasha, that we learn this and discover it and bring it down into the reality, into Mamish. And the 
Mamish is a strange word because we bring it into the physical. Gashmius. And here we are. And this is a great morning news for me because this is something I wasn't going to say and the morning news brought it out of me. So I delve into the realities of bringing what I received last night at sleep down into the physical reality the next day. That's my morning muse during this week here of Lech Lecha.